Hello and welcome to the Getting Started with the Desktop Integration Suite video. This video covers what is Desktop Integration Suite, or DIS for short, what applications can be used with Desktop Integration Suite, how to contribute and edit content using Desktop Integration Suite, and finally how to connect to Web Center Content Server. Desktop Integration Suite is an application that integrates your desktop experience with Oracle's Web Center Content Server, allowing you to easily manage files directly from your desktop using applications you know best, such as Microsoft Windows Explorer, desktop applications like Microsoft Word and Excel, and email clients like Microsoft Outlook and Lotus Notes. When you integrate Windows Explorer with Content Server, the top-level folders directory is added to the Windows Explorer hierarchy, providing a means through which you can connect to and manage content servers. When you right-click a content item, a pop-up menu appears with content server options such as check-in, check-out, and content information. You can check content into the content server by using drag-and-drop or copy-and-paste. Depending on how your content server is configured, you may have profiles available that contain default metadata values. You can change the profile or edit the metadata values upon check-in. Once checked in, the new content item has the metadata values assigned during the check-in process. Essentially, you work with content server items in much the same way you do with other folders and files in a file system, although some tasks may have a different effect. Content can be open from Windows Explorer, or directly from any of the native applications using the Open option in the Oracle UCM ribbon. Then you can browse to or search for the desired file. If the Edit option does not display, the content item is checked out by another user. You can select View to open a read-only copy or a new copy. When you open a file using any one of the integration methods, the content item is also checked out of the content server, preventing anyone else from editing it. When you save a file that is open in your desktop application, the file is saved to cache. It is not actually saved in the server until you close the file and check it into the content server. If you prefer to change any metadata values, simply select the Edit Metadata checkbox and click OK. If your edited item requires a review process, you can take advantage of workflow metadata fields to initiate that process automatically provided your system has been configured to do so. Simply select the desired workflow, along with the values for each step, and click OK. Your item is checked in the content server and the workflow initiated. Email client integration allows you to integrate Microsoft Outlook or Lotus Notes with the content server. As a result, you can check email messages and their attachments into the content server directly through your email client and share them with others. However, you cannot check them out using the email client. Depending on how your server is configured, you may have access to Digital Access Manager features, which allow you to define and provide images and videos in specified formats and sizes. When you check in email messages with attachments into the content server, you have the option of checking in an attachment separately from its email message or checking in both as a single item. You can set this to be handled automatically. In addition, you have the option of checking in only the attachment or only the email message. To download the Desktop Integration Suite client, log into Content Server from a web browser. Expand the My Content Server tray and click My Downloads. Then download the appropriate version for your machine and follow the installation screens. Once the client is downloaded and installed, you are ready to connect to the content server. There are two URLs you will need, the server web dev URL and the CGI URL. As you type in the server name, the URL is automatically inserted into both the web dev URL and CGI URL. Edit those fields if necessary and click OK.